Hey, now we're doing PL upward. You know, I, I finished off that last map with going, this this team sucks, but, you know, I, I don't think I was really helping batters by being a punching heavy. Just gonna say that now. Which I'm continuing to go. So, let's go find someone to punch. Hey. I, I just... Uh, did I seriously just force an Uber? <laughs> Alright. Well, that's enough of that. We're not gonna roll that anymore. I, I've showed you what the stake does. The stake can be used as uh, as a droppable, though. Like, kind of like how the last one uh, worked. Like, you could drop the sandwich on the ground. Uh, so you could drop the stake on the ground and it'll act as a medium health kit. Except it just won't heal you. So if that doesn't really matter to you, like you have a medic or something. Oh, whoops. I, I, I swear to God, I right-clicked. Oh, well, that, there goes the savage. There goes the spy. Time to eat sandwiches. Now, unfortunately, it just takes three very well-placed grenades, and I'm pretty much dead against the, the, the demo man. And that was way too much range on that flamethrower for him to actually get that hit. The particles didn't actually hit him. So yeah, that's pretty much it with uh, with, with the kind of unlocks he has. He's just very much a spin the fuck up and kill everything class. So now I'm actually rolling the m much more effective build. Um, unfortunately, I need to get close to people to, in order to be very effective with them. Unfortunately, I lost that fight there. I don't know if I lost my medic or what happened there. I don't know, maybe he had a better minigun spread because I was pretty sure I, I hit him at uh, that. I hit him the same amount. At least. And also, he had no medic because I killed his medic, so. I don't ever go figure. Science can't explain it. Yeah. Well, you know, it's always it's always good to be suspicious of everybody. One of the things that Heavy does excel at is just kind of sitting on carts. Because, like, what's going to stop me now? This, this retarded pyro is, of course, because I'm aiming at the medic, who died apparently pretty much immediately after. Uh. So yeah, it's just kind of like, it's kind of like play how you want, but just note that you will be severely weaker if you're going with automatic. So honestly, like, I would play this class way more if, uh, if I had like a pocket medic like constantly, so. But you can go try and air blast me all he wants, but you notice how he runs away from me. You can just get their medic. So he's gonna try and air blast me back. Fortunately, we need to kind of run back because I'm I'm getting killed by uh, some spam. Oh, cool. We have a we have a dispenser here, but I have a sandwich that will heal me faster. Fortunately, I think they're gonna be coming around that corner because they just killed our team. That's why I jump spin around corners. Now, if you're playing a sniper, you can well actually you can just do like two quick headshots and that will that will that will kill you. And look, look how fast I killed that guy who just like came came right towards me. That's ridiculous. Oh, and oh, that's where the sentry was. All right, well that explains a lot. Um, Heavy, not your best sentry killing class. The demo is range king. Even the soldier can take him out from long range. The heavy, you need to be in a good position. Actually, that's actually something I should talk about. Is the heavy is a class that's all about positioning. It really is. Uh, it's not particularly skilled in the aiming aspect or any shit like that. Uh, it's it's skilled particularly in the just having knowing the meta and knowing what each class will do to you, and just kind of spinning up in the right places and kind of f finding people and catching them off guard. Um, which is like as I said, it makes it a really solid ambushing class. But unfortunately, I can't really do much here except for spam this guy. So I guess I just won't bother with him. And they'll just eat my sandwich, which will just make me, as I said, the sandwich will make me vulnerable, but, uh, you know, if, if you can just, if you can kind of just deal with it. So here I am just coming behind this whole team right here. Yeah, let's, let's just run the hell away. You can't use the gloves anymore to run away, unfortunately. Oh, wow. You can't use the gloves to run away. You, oh, look at that guy. That, he did like a jumping spin. And he's gonna eat his sandwich right there. 
<laughs> he got blown up by something. Okay, there's a sniper watching me, so we're actually not going to fight that. Um, I'll, I'll go, like, maybe right over here. And get knocked back by that shit. And get some random crits. That works, too. You know, the random crits, though, since you're such a stationary target... Oh, man. Uh, I, how did I live that? I, I, I don't know how I lived through that. Let's go get all my health back, shall we? Since there's such a stationary target, basically anything, like, because more people are going to probably shoot at you, because uh, you are, like, the biggest target, basically. And the most threatening one of that, too, because, like, everybody runs away from a, from a spun-up heavy. Um, and since you're, since you're such a big and daunting and threatening target, uh, people are more likely to crit you, because since there's more guns on you, and especially, like, things like soldiers and stuff, crits don't have a range restriction at all. Um, so that's one of the bigger problems that, that the heavy class does face. Uh, but if you play like this right now, like I'm playing right now, very uh, kind of like a very stealth kind of heavy, uh, as not stealthy as that looks. And I just kind of crit someone from long range. I feel kind of bad about that. Okay, let's let's not fight that. Sorry, heavy. Let's go right over here. Here, I'll give you health. Go medic. There you go. That, that's why everybody loves having that shit on. It's, it's because it's like one of the best things. Like just having, having the ability to have health packs whenever you want. And that guy's dead. Oh, this is actually a good ambushing spot. And that's how you ambush as heavy. Where's this guy's minigun? Or sorry, uh, rocket launcher. I don't know where it went. Kind of sad about that. Actually, can we get on that? Oh, yes, we can. I, th I, don't th I thought it was still up. So I'm right now just spun up and on this thing. Whoa. Oh, we almost got that too. Oh, we, no, we won. That's it. That was good shit. And that's the power of heavy for you folks. That's, um, that's how you do it. Uh, so since we're on uh, defense, I think I might just go to the brass base just to kind of show you, I don't know, show more off of that. Um, I, I, at this point though, I would not ever switch from the sandwich. It is just a direct upgrade over the, um, it's, it's a direct upgrade over the, uh, well, let's fine, let's go to Badwater. I like that better than Stalemate CTF. At least Badwater usually goes somewhere. Uh, what's my call it? Um, the sh since there's like, the the Sasha though used to spin up so much slower and you used to move a lot slower too, and they they buffed that actually in some patches. So there's really no reason to use the, the sandwich anymore, and whatever melee you choose, don't do it as a serious melee thing, unless you're just joking around and using the stake. Uh, roll with something that's utility, roll with something that will allow you to go fast or take less damage or something. Just anything, anything will do. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna be surprise heavy. Okay, so right here we're gonna just basically stealth. Oh god, I got knocked off. Oh man, that pyro is a really worthwhile class. So I'm right now just kind of like shooting all these guys. Oh, and I got random crits. So that guy's got the direct shit, and that's that's gonna that's gonna wreck wreck face with me. So I'm gonna just eat my sandwich here. I'm gonna I'm gonna consider. Well, maybe I can come around that corner. Still somehow managed to kill these guys. All right, I'm, I want to run the hell away. So let's let's just run. Oh god. I don't have enough ammo, actually, so let's go get ammo. Alright, and with this, we're gonna go over here, and... I'm gonna go over here just so that uh, the pyro will just run right into me. And so, since I'm right- since I'm Ubered, I'm gonna just run up to this guy right here. I didn't really make good use of that Uber. I'm really susceptible to being hit by everything right now, so that's, that's the biggest problem. However, you can notice, like, it's just, it's a really fantastic class. 
But anyways, you know, you, we, I think we've talked enough about what the class is capable of. Let's actually talk about uh, some of the class versus class stuff as well. I should really play heavy more often. I don't, I, I don't really know why I don't. So, um, heavies versus scouts. Um, a spun up, uh, basically anything you're not spun up against, I, I'm going to pretty much generically tell you you're probably, you're at a disadvantage. I would say you're almost on par with some of the classes uh, that way. But if you are already spun up and a class comes towards you, you will chew up a, a scout. Um, assuming your aim is true. Uh, if your aim is not true, I don't know why I'm not just loving over here. Um, if, if, you're, if your aim is kind of garbage, well, you know, uh, you can't really do much about that. Like, oh god, this makes such a difference over the brass beast. Eh, that guy's dead. I'm hoping that guy's gonna get distracted by me. Nope. Okay, let's, let's just, uh, oh, I finished him off, but I got body shotted. Which is not something that would normally kill you with snipers. They'll do damage, but, you know, it's, it, yeah. But anyways, yeah, so scouts, um, I, I don't know if I would call you a soft counter, because the scout does have a couple of options. They can be annoying at best, but they're not something you typically worry about, because uh, there's a lot of higher DPS classes. It's just, you know, if, if you get, like, meat shot in the back or something, or the scout catches you off guard, obviously you lose. Um... But if you're spun up, uh, you will chew up 125 HP class, especially one like the Scout, which needs to be close. It needs to be close to, to maximize its DPS. Oh, and I got spied. Now, next one is the Soldier. Uh, the Soldier also has some unlocks that helps them against, um, helps them against heavies, uh, namely the direct hit, uh, because you are such a slow moving target, it's probably one of the things that the direct hit is probably the best at. And a direct hit crit will kill uh, an unbuffed heavy in one hit. It does 300 damage. Uh, over 300 at least. That's pretty ridiculous, uh, to be honest. Um, and, that, and, that, and you know, if, it's, if a soldier decides to run that to counter you, he, he, he can do so. He can completely do so. Um, but the, the, the fact if he gets a crit mostly depends upon... That kind of did like a 360. Um, pyros are not typically a problem. Uh, the only problem is if you don't catch them off guard, uh, and they catch you off guard, which is they can, they have the extinguisher, which will kill you. Uh, that is pretty much one of their only tools in their arsenals. They are at the very most annoying, uh, if, because they have to come right up to you to make their only weapon effective enough. So this guy tried to extinguish me. See, that was even a case where, you know, you'd think you'd excel there, but I just chew him up. It's just like, he's useless. He's useless against you. He doesn't do very, he just, he irritates you. He maybe gets you when you're weak, but any class would do that when you're weak. Da, 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 oh. Um, demos. See, the scout did catch me off guard. I wasn't spun up, so that's, one way he's going to excel. Um, so yeah, I would not say pyros are a threat in the slightest. Uh, you 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 almost counter them. If it wasn't for the fact they had the extinguisher. They have a, they have a chance against you, basically. Oh, that was that was unlucky. Uh, demos demos also you got to watch out for because they can actually uh, plant a bunch of stickies under you while you have a medic on you, um, and they can just detonate them all at once, doing a lot of burst damage. Uh, so you got to you got to watch out for that. Um, that's, that is the one problem you have against demos. Uh, and also those grenades, because you're a really slow moving target, you're very susceptible of getting uh, basically uh, three shot by grenades like I did earlier in this, uh, in this series right here. Um, so, you know, you gotta watch, once again, something else you just have to watch out for. There's someone I saw over there that I don't trust. Okay, I'm gonna wait here, and hopefully he's gonna run around this corner. Nope. I guess I'll just help out with this. Gonna try and get them off the cart. Oh, I wasn't able to. Scouts also have tools like that, so, you know. As I said, it's, it's probably why you would not call it direct counter in the slightest. Oh, there you go. That heavy got overwhelmed. And that, that's actually probably the thing that, overwhelm that, that deals with heavies the best, is when they get overwhelmed, um, so against engineers, uh, 
you know, they don't counter each other, but you have a massive health pool, so the sentries really aren't a problem, but they do deny you. It's area denial. It's what the sentries do. Um, so against sentries, you know, you're, it's a problem. If you catch an injury off guard, even even a, even a, uh, an engineer that goes and rolls the uh, um, the mini sentries, the biggest annoyance is going to actually be the knockback. It's actually not going to be anything else really with regard to that. Uh, I saw a heavy get a kill here, so I'm gonna switch out just before I round this corner. And here we go. And this guy could have totally caught me off guard. As a pyro, don't do that. Don't run right into a heavy. Just ask him to die. Like that. Like, he even caught me off guard that time. I didn't even know he was there. Still dead. Um. So he's planting stickies around this corner. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't spin up fast enough, and I just ran out of ammo. That was unfortunate. And that's pretty much, yeah, that's the demo for you. Um, so yeah, against, so yeah, engineers, um, you can get a sentry, but you should probably spend your time running up to it with an uber, which is why he's probably not best suited for clearing out sentry nests. But if you get a good position on them, like if you jump down, let's say, bad water, he's actually like, he could tear that shit up. It's, it's crazy. Um, I should also mention while you're, when you're getting ubered by, uh, if you're, while you're getting Ubered, the, the Pyro's air blast is just as effective, which really doesn't make any sense. Uh, let's go over here and, and jump, get the jump on this guy. Or not. That's fine, too. Oh, and I think I saw a spy here. There you go. Kind of ran into him. Uh... So, uh, against other heavies, it's basically whoever spins up first probably wins. Or if you have an Uber, that also helps. And I just... I kind of meant to go down to where the health back was, but I didn't know that it kind of went all the way down. That was my bad. Um, it's whoever spins up first wins, and whoever has a medic also has an advantage. But, you know, it's it's basically that. Yeah, if you're not spun up, you're probably going to lose, and so you should probably abort, basically. And whoever starts shooting first. Uh, it does come a bit into, like, the damage spread, and also, if it comes really close, those kinds of variables can make a difference. Uh, they don't make a huge difference, though, to be honest. Um... It, but it, it's not exactly a very, uh, like, a, like a wonderful matchup. It's not like, you know, like soldier versus soldier, heavy versus, heavy he versus heavy duels are just very, um, they're just very kind of like one dimensional. It's usually over in like a couple of seconds. And I got stabbed again. And he's dominating me. No, actually someone else is dominating me who had nothing to do with the kill at all. Uh, oh, there's a spy again. So, what, what's some other classes? Um, medics? Medics are your best friends. Um, I get, on the enemy team, medics are really not a big deal, because you can out DPS pretty much anything that the medics can throw at you. Because um, it's just basically like, yeah, you're, you're spinning up and, uh, you know, <laughs> you, you spin up uh, and you basically, uh, yeah, like, like uh, the, the healing will help, granted. But, like, people, people aren't going to be able to w run away from the heavy at all. And I just got a crits here. Wow. That was good. I, I want to give this guy a sandwich. Take it. Now I'm going to go and kill this uh, mini sentry. It's really not a problem because I have so much, so much damage to it. And that pyro just fell, I think. And I just got stabbed again. Um, so yeah, medics, medics, you're... Pretty much the best medic buddy, because the, the the heavy has so much health and can be really protective. And some heavy medic combos are just absolutely insane. If they're like two friends who really know uh, each other, and they're just like kind of like uh, they're really coordinating on on a team, um, it becomes insane. It, it really does, because they they they're just like unstoppable. Because um, heavies typically know where snipers will be, uh, and so you know they'll they'll avoid areas with with heavy snipers, and they'll they'll get the drop on them like pretty much immediately. Which is actually pretty cool. Um, you know, I, if if you've ever faced a really good heavy medic combo, you will know what it what it's like. Uh, against snipers, though, snipers are one of your two counters because um, basically you have a very large head hit box, and 
you know, you move very slowly. Honestly, as a sniper, I found it always very difficult to kill, uh, to kill heavies, because they just, they move just at the right time. I don't really know what it is. Oh, uh, and my heavy actually stopped coming on to me. All right. Well, I'm a little bit sad about that, but uh, I won't take that personally. Um, but yeah, so snipers basically can charge from long range, well out of range of your minigun. You can try and shoot them a little bit to kind of fuck up their aim, but generally you probably don't want to chance it at all. You can also throw in, like, you can't jump with a minigun since you're not moving very quickly. You can't, you can't jump with a minigun at all. You can crouch, though, and so you can throw in a couple of crouches occasionally, especially if you're against another heavy, throw in a cr crouch and, um, and see if, see if that works out for you, um, and, and helps you live. Oh, that's an uber pyro. I'll just go, come over here, that's alright. Pyro's po possibly the worst thing you can uber. It really is. That guy just tried to hit me. Alright, let's try and get this guy. Oop, hey! I'm a, I'm a spun up... Uh, my name is Mr. Spun Up Heavy. And I just got body shot. Like, come on! Body shotting a heavy! Are you, are you serious? You know, I, like, I won't blame him for fucking... Missing the headshot, but come on. You need to body shot? Anyways, um... So yeah, snipers, uh, they will be your bane, and it's one of the two classes that people will switch to if there's a really good heavy meta combo. Um, and yeah, so it's it's kind of like you can't do much about that. Um, the other one is spies, so not only you have to watch like really far away, you also have to watch... Uh, I'm unfortunately going to die. That sucks. Hey there, I'm about to die. And that's it, I'm just getting out spammed basically. Because uh, a lot of a lot of these classes, like explosive classes, can kind of just hide behind cover. That's something else you can, that, that soldiers can do. In that case, uh, if, it's a cl it's, if it's cover that's nearby that he's hiding behind, you could just unspin, just go hop right around it, and then he's fucked. Uh, the closer the better, because then he'll do damage to himself too, and you can absorb the damage, he can't. Um, I'm kind of just right now minigunning over here. Wow, I'm, I'm not sure what we haven't lost this yet. Well, that's the best I could hope for. Alright, we're completely getting rolled here. Spies are another one of your counters. They have that backstab thing. It's one, another one-hit kill. You're a slow, really large target. They will love to pick you out in a crowd. And you've actually seen that already a couple times. Even though I have an entire team behind me, they're not chain-stabbing. They're actually just going for me right away. Because I am a pretty, pretty delicious target, and there wasn't much I could do about that. It's also basically it. Uh, the only encounter you have to spy is just checking behind you once in a while, so... Oh well. I think that's all I have to say, so... Um, I guess that's it, so... I guess I'll see you later. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!